In 2020, interest rates have declined significantly and perhaps not surprisingly, many banks have also reduced the interest that they used to pay on their high interest savings account. This has caused many Singaporeans to look elsewhere to park their savings in order to continue earning decent interest rates. One such product that some people are turning to are cash management accounts. In recent months, we've started seeing more of such accounts being introduced to the Singapore market. In today's discussion, we have with us Sam Ree, the Chief Investment Officer of Endowers, a fintech digital advisor based in Singapore. Endowers have recently launched Endowers Cash Smart, which is a cash management account. Sam, firstly, welcome to the show. Hi, Tim. Really good to be here. Sam, in a recent poll we did on the Dollars and Cents Telegram group, we asked how many people have started using a cash management account. We had more than 1,000 respondents and only 15% of them actually said that they have used a cash management account. Sam, are you surprised by this result? Not really, Tim. Um, we actually did our own customer survey before we launched and that was Cash Smart. And our survey also showed that most people actually only use their regular bank accounts or their fixed deposits. And some invested in Singapore savings bonds, uh, but most of them had not heard of a cash management account. But in this new environment where bank deposit rates and interest rates overall have fallen so rapidly, and even sing saver bonds are at historical low rates, I think it's not surprising that people are looking for alternatives. And so I think cash management accounts will be a great alternative for people to look at. So when we look at the cash management account, right, would parking your money in such a cash management account be actually considered as investing or is it more of just setting aside your money or your savings just to earn a slightly better interest rate? Yeah, I think it's a bit of both. You can technically label it as investing uh, because there is a risk associated with putting money into cash management accounts. But it's, I think it's very different from what we consider traditionally investing in financial markets like equities or regular fixed income products or other forms of alternative investments. Because cash management accounts are very um, low risk, which means that it's invested in very low credit risk. So there's no risk of default. These are like institutional banks, their government bills or money market instruments and short duration, but very high quality bonds, as I mentioned. Um, so it has low volatility and very low risk of losing money. And that's why it's suitable to manage your short-term cash. Sam, some people may think that putting their money in a cash management account is not as safe as putting it with a bank. So to some extent, they may have a point, right? So firstly, unlike savings in our Singapore bank account, the money in our cash management account isn't guaranteed by SDIC. Secondly, the interest rate isn't guaranteed as well. So uh, because it's subjected to market conditions, what are your thoughts on people who may have this, you know, uh, thoughts in their mind about just how safe the funds are? There is some good points there. But first of all, I would say that interest rates for even bank accounts are not guaranteed anyway, uh, because banks have been, you know, changing and lowering their interest rates with very short notice. Uh, regular people have to shop around for higher yield banking accounts. Uh, the only time it's guaranteed is when you lock it into a fixed deposit. But even then, after it expires, you still have the reinvestment risk. So after the FD expires or matures after, say, one month or six months, you have to put that back into a fixed deposit and the interest rates would have fallen quite a lot since then. The second thing on the SDIC is it's true. There is a capital guarantee. It's limited to $75,000, which is much lower than many other countries around the world. Uh, the trade-off is that there is a cap and also it's lower risk and therefore you get lower interest. In your opinion, what is the difference between parking my money directly with some of these money market mutual funds as compared to a cash management account such as the Endower Cash Smart? There's several reasons why Endower's Cash Smart would be you know, advantageous for somebody who's investing in these cash management products. The first is that our fees will be at least the same, if not lower, uh, than doing it yourself. So a DIY way of investing in the same funds would be higher cost because either you're paying for the platform fee through which you're investing or you will have uh, a trailer fee that's built into the cost that you know the platform or the broker or the distributor will be taking. We actually have introduced the industry's first 100% trailer fee rebate. So any commission we get or trailer fees we receive, uh, everybody else gets to keep it, but we've promised to our clients that we will give 100% rebate back to the client so that they get to a lower cost net. So on average, if you build the same portfolio on a DIY platform, it would be about 30 to 67% cheaper to use in DAWAS as a whole. 
Also, there's obviously other benefits like, you know, our digital platform being so easy and seamless to use. You can have a lower denomination of $100 per transaction because we, you know, amalgamate the, uh, the flow, uh, the withdrawals and the deposits uh, versus maybe $1,000 per transaction for the DIY platforms. And then you have all the other benefits of transferring that to potentially investments um, because Endowas has cash, CPF and SRS investments available. Uh, to our investors. So you can manage all of your wealth in one seamless digital platform. I got one final question, but I think it's an important one. So we know that there has been a lot of you know, cash management products coming into the market in recent months. And um, a lot of them provide access to money market funds. But you know, money market funds have been in the investment space for a long time. And is it fair to say that all money market funds um, are actually you know, equally safe or is there even a, a, a change in risk you know, across some of these money market funds and hence some of these cash management account? Yeah, that's a great question. I think there is a difference um, and that's why we do the due, due diligence for you to select the best money market fund. We also select the best cash fund and the short-term fund and we mix it together into a portfolio which gives you two different choices of a lower risk and lower return, 1% type of return cash management account, and then a higher risk that gives you 2% plus. So there is a difference and we need to do the due diligence to make sure that they do what they say, the risks are appropriate for you. And that's why Endow has built uh, this cash management product in that way. All right, thank you, Sam, for helping better explain what a cash management account is. We've come to the end of this episode for Dollars and Cents Discuss, but we're not done yet with our discussion on what cash management account is. So if you have a view on cash management account, leave us a comment on Facebook or YouTube, wherever you're watching this video on.